We'll start with uh, you, Josh Brown. Pete in Austin, Texas, the WWE. Is it a good long-term play? Um, I think it could be. This is, uh, we were talking about Tesla and its fan base. Um, wrestling has a fan base that's never going anywhere. It doesn't matter what you do. You can air these really awkward segments with no audience and, and um, basically uh, ballet in the ring, and people still love it. They rabidly love it. So I think there's long-term value here, unfortunately. Sometimes uh, the McMahons take a risk on something that doesn't work out, and I think that's like part of what you have to deal with if you're invested in the company. It's synonymous with him and, and his creativity. So uh, I'm not personally invested, but I can understand why there is a, a core shareholder base here. Okay. Uh, Stephanie Link to you from Chuck in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Abvi or Abivi, who's ever uh, pronunciation you want to go with? Mine or somebody else's? <laughs> 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 I, I like Abby. You I like the Abby right? deal a lot. You with me on that? <laughs> yes. I got, I'm, on, I'm on that with you. Yes, I am. Right. Um, I, uh, I like this story a lot um, because this company is very dependent on one drug, Humira. And with the Allergan deal, it actually does diversify their pipeline. And they are also working on their pipeline. So this is a company that had a very good quarter. Um, and uh, I think that at 5.5% dividend yield, trading at 10 times earnings. So I like this one. I actually own this one as well. Okay. Uh, Jim Labenthal to you from Chris in Colorado. What about Winnebago, Winnebago Industries? Yeah, well, look, I mean, stock has stock has done relatively well for a small cap. And look, I, I think uh, their most recent results, albeit February 28th, were good. They're restarting production. Uh, the demand is still there, particularly from the millennials. So I, I don't see a need to sell this stock. I own it. I hold it. If you don't, I think you can buy it. OK. And Shannon, to you from Greg in Florida, I bought Accenture at 16. What's the outlook like? There could be some near pressure, near term pressure on Accenture. I'm not going to lie. Uh, you know, it's a consulting business, you know, focused on end market move to cloud and hybrid networks. However, you know, this is one of our highest conviction names and we think the long term is well situated and they're immersed in an end market that is definitely one that's going to grow.